Hello, our tribe, Anna here. Let's make a super cool rainbow pastel-y springtime ocean lacing painting together. Now, before we get into that, I am super excited because one of my favorite companies, Fluid Art Co., sent me a bunch of really cool material. Now, can you please look at this silicone mat? Now, oh my God, they have different sizes. It is literally the size of my really big table, which I am so excited about because I always get those plastic kind of like really cheap covers and I always have to reuse them, but this is life-changing just wait till you see now they sent me all these really fun pigments but this is the star of the show today it's their white lacing paste and y'all oh my god it's amazing now for their pigments they are the piggies and i absolutely love the name i love the icon they have they are my new favorite now they have all the shimmery iridescent ones they have all the pastels they have the neons and let me tell y'all finding like really good neon pigments is really difficult so now let's get into the ocean painting. Right over here, I'm using these, um, this spray can, which kind of is supposed to give kind of like a texture, but when I do ocean paintings, which I don't do much of, look at this, it looks like it's like sand and it's perfect. I don't have to put real sand down. It dries very quickly, it's amazing. So I went ahead and I put that on my canvas on the bottom and I had just painted the background with just plain white acrylic. Now, when we do resin on top of any kind of canvas or on the wood panel or whatever you choose to do, I always, you know, tape the sides because it is way easier to go ahead and heat that tape, which I'm gonna show you at the end, and remove all those drips and not sand it because I will literally do anything to not sand. If you follow me at all, you know that I hate sanding. Anyway, so this um, masking tape, I got it from Home Depot. It's the Scotch brand. You can use any kind of masking tape, my friends. I've even used ones that are from like the Dollar Tree or the 99 cent store, doesn't really matter. Now you're gonna see over here that my tape is bigger than the sides of the side of my panel. Now I usually, I used to kind of bend that um, tape down, but it wasn't enough to carry the driplets on the bottom. So what I kind of do is I just let it sit straight down and what happens is all of the paint drips just fall off and that's it now after I did that also it'll be smart to kind of tape that before you kind of do the, the spray paint but you know I do things backwards sometimes <laughs> so these are the colors that I'm using today for the rainbow painting and this is the high tide piggy paste of course which I'm super excited to use and of course you know me I'm a moss girl so I'm gonna be using my tabletop resin over here which is a one-to-one -one resin ratio so if you're gonna put let's say 100 grams of a you're gonna put 100 grams of B it's super super easy it is one of my favorite resins on the market market to do lacing with and yeah there we have it now after I mix my resin I took a little cups and yes they say Midori they're from my olden days in my 20s where I used to you know promote little shots and things in different places so don't make fun but I have a ton of them and we don't waste things in this house so what I'm doing now is I'm basically kind of just dividing the resin in different cups so that I can mix them with the different resins so one cup for each color of the rainbow that I wanted to do and then I left a little bit of clear in the main cup and then one more cup for the white paste so look at how vibrant these colors are now I thought with the amount I put that the resin was going to be pretty transparent Y'all, this pigment, these pigments, all of them, they are so strong. You don't need to use that much, which is amazing. And the bottles are like super, super full, which is, you know, it's fantastic. So um, if you haven't seen their website before, again, I have it on the bottom. It's Fluid Art Co. And also if you want to use my discount for Moss, you can use code Annie's Art. You get 10% off plus free shipping. And that free shipping on resin, which is very heavy bottles, is everything. So go ahead and use that if you don't, if you want to. Um, and yeah, so here we go. Gonna lay down the colors. I did wanna do the green and then the purple and then the pink and then the orange, but I was a little nervous. I haven't done an ocean painting in a while, so kind of switched them up on my table and we just went with it. So all the colors. Now, something to remember when you're doing a ocean painting, you need a lot less resin on the top for your ocean portion before you're lacing than you might think. The thicker your resin is when you push your lacing out, your lacing pigment, the white, no matter what brand you use usually, white is pretty thick and it's heavier than most pigments. So what's gonna happen is gonna it's gonna sink down and it's gonna kind of ruin your cells. Now, 
you're gonna see what I do. It did that a little bit and I decided to push my white again and my white became a little fluffy. So we are gonna do a little an example for me to show you how it works, but here we go. Now I put my colors on and of course that red and green made brown. I had a little bit of a heart attack, but you know, I figured when I push the white, it's gonna be fine. So I like putting a little bit of a clear resin before my white, just so there's a little bit of separation. And then we're gonna hold our heat gun at about like a 45 degree angle and we're gonna slightly blow that out look at how satisfying now you want to push it out as far as you want and that pigment that white is gonna kind of spread and open up again so go ahead and do that have fun with it take your time this is a little bit sped up than what it actually is so always take your time any video you guys watch on the internet it's always sped up you guys so just take your time now we did that and after we do this you always want to take your heat gun and kind of give it a little heat on there not your heat gun sorry your butane torch your torch gun this one right over here um and this helps your cells form and you're going to see in a second how beautiful these cells are and you don't want to re-push your cells ever now you can but if you do what's going to happen is your cells are going to be a little bit fluffy as what i call them and this is after so i added more white i pushed again and it's a little bit fluffy but i did not mind it i said you know what annie it's still it's a little cute we're gonna let it be now i let this cure until the resin wasn't pulling up anymore but before we continue can we have a moment for how pretty these drips are the colors the way it's collecting i mean it's beautiful all right so my resin is cured on the bottom i think i let it about it was really really hot in los angeles so it cured enough in about maybe like six seven hours um enough for me not to be able to pull any of the resin up and it wasn't moving anywhere so i went ahead and i decided to do a second layer of my lacing and i wasn't going to put any color just my lacing so i put down the clear and then my white decided it wasn't enough but it probably was i <laughs> a little bit more and here we go now i'm going to show you how pretty the lacing is because I didn't push it the second time when I filmed it. But then I looked at it and I said, okay, the bottom layer is fl a fluffy and the top layer isn't. So I'm gonna have it match later on off camera. I did go ahead and push it again so they match. I do love it, but in a second, we're about to do an experiment. Look how pretty, look how pretty. This picky paste is, it is it guys. I 100% approve of this. You need to try it. It's um, newly launched with Fluid Art Co. Look at those colors. So look at those colors. I absolutely love it. All right, so I pulled out a piece of wood that I had and I had a little bit of leftover resin. So we're gonna go ahead and do a little experiment. Now here I made sure that my resin layer, the clear one right over here, is a lot thinner than what I had on the main painting. So we're gonna do a test and see how much better the cells hold. Not to spoil it for you guys. It held a lot better. <laughs> um, added a little bit more on the bottom of the white just so you know I have a better kind of line and look at those cells. Now, your cells will stay absolutely like this and they will not move if you don't push the resin again. And as long as your layer on the bottom isn't too thick, you know, it has to be pretty thin, thinner than you think, your cells are not gonna move, they're not gonna sink, and they're gonna be amazing. Now, this is the next day. I still love this fluffiness, so. We're gonna get a close-up again later, but I wanted to show you how awesome this silicone mat is. I'm calling it a silicone mat. I think they might call it a pour mat because this is also made for when you do um, pouring, like paint pouring, and your drips will come off. And I know there are a lot of artists that take those drips, their sheets, and they you know make jewelry out of it and other art. So. You can use this mat for all kinds of things. They also have the black version. Now to remove the tape, you see how easy it is. A little bit of heat, just a little bit, and it comes off like butter. Now, since my tape was stuck all around, I did do a little snippy to help me kind of just start it. But I also want to show you how easy those drips come off. A little bit of tape. I mean, you can sit there and take them off one by one. I don't have the patience for that and my nails don't help. So I put a piece of tape on there, took them all out, and of course I kept the little drippies and I added them into this little box where I keep all my pretty drips. I do see a domino in my future with all those pretty drips, but here it is guys. This was your tutorial. Thank you for joining me 
And that's about it. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments and everything I use is gonna be linked in the description of this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I love y'all. Bye.